What's up guys, my name's Hugh Miller and today I'm going to show you guys how to play Secrets Can Kill, the original game from 1998, how to play that on a Windows 10 PC without having to use the discs. It's, it's such an amazing thing, I'm so stoked that it works and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. It's crazy, I, um, I'm just so excited. Alright, so you're going to need two things before we start. The first is a program called Power ISO. And this is a free program you can download. It's 100% safe. I've used it for years and have had zero issues with it. When you download it, however, it, when you boot it up and install it, it may ask you for a registration code. You will probably need one. Uh, and to get one, you just look up on Google Power ISO. Like, let's just do it right now. Power ISO registration code. And you just click the first one and... Yeah, boom, right there. You just, just take the username and the key, and that's it. It's not going to do anything. This is not any bad stuff at all. You just simply uh, register it, and that's it. You're good to go. It's not that hard. It's not that scary. It works. That's all I'm going to say. You're going to need this. The next thing you're going to need is a physical copy uh, or a digital copy of the discs for Secrets Can Kill. Now, physical copies, you know... That's just self-explanatory. It's just the disk that you put into your disk drive. A digital copy is something that I will show you how to make with your physical copy. If you don't have a physical copy, you can go to the Internet Archive, look up Nancy Drew, and then find the Nancy Drew Mega Mystery 4-pack that someone has uploaded. From there, scroll down to ISO Image, click on the little arrow, and then there should be all these ISO disks. Now, an ISO file is, um, is a digital disk. And what you're going to want for this are the Secrets Can Kill CD Discs 1 and 2. Those, yeah, those are what you want if you just want to get the digital one right from the Internet Archive. It will take a while to download, but you can do it. However, if you don't want to use this version and you want to use your own physical copy to make a digital disc, I'm going to show you what to do. So that's what you need. That's where Power ISO comes in for the first step. Uh, what you're going to want to do is put the disc into the disk drive and then open it up. And once you see all the files, this is just for disk 1, by the way, you have, do, you have to do the same process for disk 2. For disk 1, you're going to select all the files that are in the folder or on the disk. You're going to right click and then uh, under Power ISO, once it's been installed, you're going to click on Add to Image File. And then it'll boot it up. It'll add all the images uh, into here. And then it'll ask you to save the file. And this, this is a very important step. You're going to want to make sure that under the format, it is not a .daa file, it's an ISO file. It has to be an ISO, otherwise this won't work. Go into the folder, select where you want to install it to, or save it to, uh, not install, save, and then you can just save it. To, I've already done it with uh, NDSEK1 and NDSEK2, but you can really just name it whatever you want and put it wherever you want. And then you press save and it just does it. It takes a little while to compress it into an ISO file, like it takes quite a few minutes but it, it will happen. And once it's done, then it's done. And then you have all the files uh, as digital disks, and that's it. So let me just go over that again. You're gonna want to, if you're converting a physical disk into a digital disk, put it into your disk drive, open the disk on, uh, on Windows, and then select all the files, right click, power ISO, add to image file, wait for it to load. Make sure you're selecting ISO, and then save the disk to wherever you want. And you're going to want to do that for both disk 1 and disk 2. Make sure that they're both squared away and it's all sorted. Now, I have disk 1 and disk 2 here, uh, which is, I've already done this. And again, these are all the files on disk 1, and these are all the files on disk 2. Now, I had some trouble yesterday actually getting the game to start installing. And if that happens today, then, you know, I'll, I'll show you how to fix that. Anyway, so what we're going to do next is we are going to create a place to put these discs. So these are all my Nancy Drew games I've got installed, and we're going to go into what I've got the game files as. And this is where I've got, uh, yeah, these don't matter. But what we will do is create extra files just for Secrets Can Kill. So I've got one called SCK files and one called Secrets Can Kill. It doesn't matter what you call them, this is just what I'm calling them. So SCK files, I'm going to open this, and I'm going to put these two discs into here. Now just leave them there because we're not gonna we're gonna use them a bit later. Now for the next folder, now this is interesting. I've got all my save files in here. Before you install the game, you need to make sure that there are zero save files in the system. 
just delete them. Just delete them. Unless you have a save that you want to um, carry over. Yeah, just, just delete the files. Um, and here we go. Now, this is where things get rather exciting. So, I'm going to just eject the disk that I have in my, uh, in my disk drive there. So, what we're going to want to do, actually, is go into Power ISO. And we're going to go Mount. We're going to set number of drives. And we're going to select two drives. It has to be two. Now, that's a very important step. Now, let me go over that again. Open Power ISO, just as it is. Go to Mount. And then set number of drives to two. Now, that's very important. And even more important is knowing what these drives are called. So, this is drive H. And this is drive I. Now, just keep that, keep that in mind. That is incredibly important. So, what we're going to do, actually, under while we're here, we're going to mount image. And the image we're going to mount is the disk that we just created, uh, disk 1. So, find where you save that. And we're going to open that under... Um, under drive H. Yours might say drive G, it might say something else, but under the first drive, make sure that you have mounted the first disk that you have. From there you can close that, and then we are going to go down to where it says drive H on the little taskbar here. We're going to right click, and we're going to uh, we're going to open a new window. And here we've got all the files just as they are on the disk. And now we go into actually getting the game installed. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the setup, we're going to go to properties, we're going to go to compatibility, click on run this program in compatibility mode 4, and make sure you're under Windows 98 slash Windows ME. And then click on the box that says run this program as an administrator. From there, click apply. And OK. Now, right click on setup, run as administrator. You get a little pop-up that says, do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? And click yes, because this app is just Nancy Drew. Now, what we're seeing here is that I got a little spinning blue wheel with my arrow. Notice how the game, or the setup has not actually loaded up. Now this issue came up for me yesterday. What you want to do to fix that is to go into task manager. You can right click on the taskbar and go to task manager or you can press Control shift escape and it loads up the task manager for you. Now, notice how we have the 32-bit setup launcher running right now. It says that it's a back, uh, background process, but it's not actually running. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to right click on this. We're going to go to go to details. And here it shows setup.exe under the details tab. We're going to right click this and we're going to click on analyze weight chain. Now this is showing what it's waiting for before actually starting. Now yours may look different. Mine says nvcontainer.exe. And again, you might not even have this issue, but I do. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you select nvcontainer.exe or whatever this says. Don't worry about setup.exe, just, just this second file. Click end and make sure it's selected. Click end process. And it'll give you this and just say yes, I wanna end the process. Now. Because of that, we know the, the setup.exe is no longer waiting for anything to load, which allows the actual setup to begin. It's some weird roadblock with, with newer systems, and I, I've never had that happen until now, and I believe that is an issue that some people have had, uh, which is it's great that it has more or less been solved, I guess, um, and that's what you do. It's just super simple. So I'm gonna actually, while this is loading, I'm going to go over that one more time. So while we have the 32-bit setup launcher under background processes, right-click on it, uh, go to details, which will bring you to here, and then it should open up the setup.exe, and then right-click on that, click analyze weight chain, and then click on the, on the bottom most item, and then end process. And that should get things loaded. Now, it does take a little while to load up. I will admit that. It took a little while yesterday, and it's taking a little while now, but it does load up. It just has to take its sweet time. So I'm going to cut ahead in the video until when it loads up. All right, guys. So mine took ages to load up, and I didn't know why uh, until I went back and I opened the task manager again. I'll show you what I did here. Uh, I opened the task manager. And I scrolled down because uh, this was not showing up, the 32-bit uh, installer. So I scrolled down until I found it. 
And then I did the whole thing where I right clicked on it and then went to details and then right click on this, this exact file actually, I right clicked on this and then analyze weight chain. And there was an item that was still waiting. So I just clicked that and then clicked end process and then this loaded up. So if that happens to you, just know you've got to go through, the, through those exact steps I just laid out. Now we can get to installing the game as it should be installed. So we're going to click on next, we're going to click on yes, click on next, and then once we get to the choose destination location, remember that file that we made earlier, or the two files we made, we put the disks, the virtual disks in one, and then we made another one. Now that second one, if we go to, uh, you got to go and find where you put it of course. Um, let me just get take a second to get it here. Uh, it should be under Nancy Drew Games, Game Files, and then One Secrets Can Kill. That's the one I called it right there. Now, yours may be labeled differently, of course, but this is where mine is. This is what I'm calling it. And you're going to want to uh, install the game to that file. Now, click OK. Then click Next. Uh, leave this on Recommended. Click Next again. And press No, I will install DirectX myself. Never click yes ever now click next and it should oh uh, sorry one more next two more next and then click install and it should just install super quickly with a little there we go now we're not going to play the game now we're actually going to uncheck that we're going to click finish and now we have the game up here so all i did there was just rename the file to one hyphen secrets can kill put it in my nancy Drew games folder and that was it now what we're going to do here is the most important step of the entire thing. In order to make this actually work, we have to do this. So you're gonna right click on the Secrets Can Kill file, and you're gonna go to Open File Location. Now this is actually just in the file that we just installed it to, but this particular file right here, Game, uh, the Configuration Settings, this is the most important file. So when it opens up, you're gonna see all this. This is all these configuration settings. This is uh, volume settings, closed captioning, uh, setting it to windowed mode or not, which I will do in just a moment here. Um, all this stuff. This is, but it's these three, or these two lines, I guess, that we're most uh, interested in. So we're gonna set, I remember these two, um, these two artificial drives we made, uh, drive H and drive I. We're gonna make sure that these read exactly this. So disk one is currently in drive H. Disk two is gonna go into drive I. So we're gonna replace this H with an I. And then we're gonna press control S to save it. That save, that, so now the game will know to read the disk in drive I. Just like the disclaimer says, this next part is completely optional. It is not required in order to play the game, it does not affect the way the game is played, and it does not affect the disc switching. Well, what, I, what I'm doing is I'm going to put the game into windowed mode only for the purposes of this video. You don't need to do it. If you decide to do it, you can undo it as well, just to make it full screen again. It is not permanent, it is something that can be changed and then changed back to normal again. And I'll explain to you how to do that uh, at the next uh, next disclaimer. We're also gonna change the run in windowed mode to one. At least I'm going to. There, you don't have to do this, I'm just doing this for the video's purpose. Uh, this just allows the game to run in windowed mode, which you can do with every game, just so you know. Um, and then we're gonna hit save again. Now, again, this step is completely optional. You don't have to do this, but I'm doing it. And then you're gonna close this. And then under uh, under the actual game, you're gonna right click on the game. You're gonna go to properties, compatibility, and then reduced color mode. Select this and then select 16 bit color and click apply and then okay. And then if everything's gone well, which it should have, if you open the game, we're gonna see a little window up in the corner. And there we go. Nancy Drew, Secrets Can Kill. And the game runs just as it would. I mean, I've got a little cursor up there. I mean, you might. And again, this is just running in windowed mode, so if you run it in full screen mode, it shouldn't do that. Uh, I think it's just a windowed mode thing. Either way, it runs. So again, those last steps are for running the game in windowed mode. They are completely optional. None of them need to be done in order to play the game normally. However, again, if you chose to follow those steps and you are running the game in windowed mode, and then you want to go back, all you need to do is reverse the steps. Right click on the game, go to properties, click on compatibility, 
then deselect the color mode option. After that, go back into the game configuration settings and then change the run and windowed mode from 1 to 0 and then click and then press control S to save. It is not permanent, it is completely optional. Now back to the video. Now before we boot the game up, we've got one final thing to do. We're going to go back to the disc, the second disc, we're going to right click on it, we're going to go power ISO, we're going to go mount to drive I, or whatever your second drive is that you made. It may not be drive I, it's just whatever you've got. Which allows then this uh, to be mounted onto drive I. Now, the, now this is very important again, because this will allow the game to know which disc to read off of. So if we open the game, there we go, it's booting up just as normal. And then if we click new game, and then just start a new game as you would, let's test out the no disc switching. Let's go to the school. Oh my word, there you go. You now no longer need to uh, switch discs in the game. It's amazing. You, have to, you usually have to switch discs when you go down to the boiler room, but not this time. This time you just go right in. How awesome is that? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you play Nancy Drew Secrets and Kill on Windows 10 without discs in 2021. I really hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope this works for you. And again, running in windowed mode is not required at all. That is just for the purposes of this video, for me to show off just sort of that it works and how it works and all that stuff. So yeah, that's it. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful rest of your day.